To run vertically at the wall is a simple procedure. First of all, you want to make sure that you're using the balls of your feet. That way you can get the most power, the most distance, etc, etc. Because if you just go flat foot, you might not get that height that you're looking for. Second of all, when you're running up, up, a, up a wall, you don't want to directly run up it or towards it. You want to go on an angle. So when you're running up it, you don't want to just run completely like, like, ah, oh, scrambling for the wall. No. <laughs> You want to make sure that your body's on an angle such as like, I don't know, 45 degrees or whatever this angle is. <laughs> Third of all, you just want to run as fast as you can. Just don't stop. Just put all that power into it so you can get as high as possible. Now, I'll show you a live example of running up a wall for quick. Now in case you might have noticed, or not noticed due to the camera positioning, when I run up the wall I tend to kick back on my last one, that's, that's just the way that I'm used to and how I tell myself, everybody else it's going to be a little bit different. Now on to the horizontal wall. Okay, running up the wall vertically might require the balls of your feet, but running horizontally along the wall is a little bit different. Yes, you do still want to run with the balls of your feet, but not completely. When it comes to running uh, horizontally the long wall, it comes to mostly the sides of your feet that you're going to be putting on pressure. And the same rule applies for when it comes to coming at the building. You don't want to run straight up at it. You don't want to run right at it. You want to run along it. So you want to get your body on that like on that 45 degree slant or whatever slant that is. <laughs> so here's here's my live example horizontal wall. I'm Eagle from Cag Family and this concludes our vertical and horizontal wall running tutorial. Thank you.